What's happening, fam? I'll let y'all movement still moving. Um, can you divest? You know, last week in some change, people have been talking about divesting. And the question to me is very simple. Can you, though? You know, can you divest? And a lot of this divesting stuff is fantasy for most. You know, um, the first two definitions of divestments have more to do with economics than anything. And really, the third definition does also, but it's kind of used as a, a as a phrase to you can get rid of something, um, to, you know, so you divest from it in a sense. Here's the thing. When it's used as far as divesting in, you know, you don't have to date black men anymore, you know, because I that's more of a term that comes from the women, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't dug down a rabbit hole of guys who say divest. Um, the problem with that is when you ladies talking about divesting, you've been talking for a very long time and you haven't done it. And if you and if you've been talking about it for a very long time, that means you mean that you don't want to be with black men. But you haven't done did the work to be with any other group of men. Because obviously those guys don't want you like that because um you're not what they're looking for. So when you divest, when are you going to be with somebody? Because to me, I'm going to tell you, just for me personally, it just looks like a faction of feminism, another branch of feminism that's going to lead you into being in the LGBT community. Because you're going to divest from black men. You're, going, you're not going to, if you do the work to change, to, to be with what is appealing to other groups of men, you're going to have to learn the lesson that this is what I wasn't with black men. And that's going to be a problem because, you know, that's an internal struggle. And then you're going to go back to being your regular self, and those men are not going to want you, and then you're going to wind up with who? Women. All by yourself. So the question is, can you divest? Because divest to, to divest, you have to change uh, and compete. And obviously you ladies don't want to change and obviously you don't want to compete. And that leaves you with nothing. You know, to divest, if you have a bad attitude, you don't have to change it. To divest, if, if you, um, are overweight, you're going to have to get in shape. To divest, you know, you're going to have to be less masculine and more feminine. To divest, you're going to have to take all of those traits to compete with the other groups of women in the group of men that you want to be with to win those guys over from, from those women who are um, uh, groomed to be with those men. That's what you're going to have to do to divest. And you're going to have to do that in a short amount of time because you ain't got all day. And, you know, and you have to change. And once you and take into consideration, you have to change those guys' minds also, you know, to divest. Can you do that? You know, if you're in your 20, if you're 20, can you do that? Can that process be done by 25? All of those things. You know, if you're 30... You got to 32. You know what I'm saying? If you're 40, I don't know what to tell you. So this idea that, you know, you could just wake up one morning and divest, it's the same silly argument as I've been single for years, but when I'm ready, I'm going to just wake up in the morning and and, and I can be a, a somebody's girlfriend or I can be somebody's woman and I can be somebody's wife because I'm ready when I woke up and said so. You can't wake up and I'm and I said I'm ready to divest. This speaking it into an existence thing has gone too far. Because you don't put the actions to make it possible. So this is a question and I gave my answer to it, so peace.